Hello and welcome to MFCP Woodworking. I'm your host John. Today we're going to make it a simple project. I kind of bit off more than I could chew today. And I don't have much left so it's going to be a simple one. We're going to make some pegs for hanging coats and whatever else you want inside. We're going to make a shaker peg and we're going to make a regular peg. Out of this, gray birch. One of my favorite woods here. So let's get working. Got some nice faulting in this, as usual. Okay, a couple things to point out here. We're making a shaker peg. This is designed to hold some weight. Um, so you're going to want to avoid knots if you can. Uh, this one's not too bad, but uh, big knots are weak spots in the wood and it could break. Also, this spalting is not something you're going to really want to be looking at because that does weaken the wood as well. <clears throat> Unless you like using gallons of CA glue. This uh, is still a little bit heavy for what I want to do, but uh, we can leave this on the spindle. We don't have to mount this into anything to do the ends because very simple work. So we're going to get to it. Okay, we're going to leave them a little bit heavy. we make the first one here. This is Bell end. Um, this one's going to transition. This is going to be the one in. And we're going to make sure we're being consistent here. Put that right about there. That's where the tenon is going to be. So we're going to mark off another one here. This one's going to be a little different because they're going to make one shaker peg and one other kind of peg. So this one's going to be kind of round on the end. And again, i to get an idea how far I've been here. They're going to be basically the same because I don't really care if they're perfect. They're not going to be used in the same spot. But they are going to have roughly the same size tannin. For this kind of project, the first thing you want to make is the tannin. So we're going to get out our party tool and we're going to trim these down. Now I got my caliper set at 5 eighths of an inch and we're pretty close. And the tenon can be rough, by the way, because uh, it's not going to affect the gluing surface. The glue will soak in a little bit, but a, a smooth one or a slightly rough one doesn't make a whole lot of difference.
Close to perfect. So our tenons are 5 8 by 5 8. They're just that's the size that I chose. And I'm gonna get in here and we're gonna start forming the actual uh, contours of thing. This would be the shaker one first. Okay, we're gonna be a little careful with that. your shaker peg basic shape. The end here is designed to keep the clothes from slipping off. The next one's going to have a similar purpose, but it's, uh, it's going to be formed differently. I'm going to make a round head on it. Okay, and I think that I should quit while I'm ahead. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off my uh, my tool rest here, and we're gonna sand it out. Just give it a little more speed. See how they look. They look pretty good. At the end, I'm kind of pleased with them. For rough one, this is a little rough down in there, but that's. We'll see what we can do with the sanding with the machine afterwards. It's a little bit punky. We'll do a little more sanding on it. Okay, so now I get to put our tool rest back on. And we'll part it down as far as we can. Okay, rather than Rather than send them flying, I'm going to cut them off with the saw the rest of the way, and then we can sand them with the machine on the end. Now, my hands are getting cold, but I'm almost done. Touch them up by hand. The one there I made flat. I uh, that's my own weird little design. I like the shaker peg better. Shaker peg like this. I'm sure you've seen them before. A little touch up on the with the fine sandpaper. Okay, it's over there. And then my own weird interpretation with a rounded end. Serves the same purpose, it's a little harder to make. 
I don't think it was such a great project, but uh, you know what? I use these in the shop. I use them in the garage. If I don't like a style, there is a place that I can use it where it doesn't matter. So there you have it. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the uh, like button and subscribe. And uh, this is how you make yourself some, some pegs for hanging clothes and stuff. You just drill a hole for the end there, glue it, and put it in the hole and you're set to go. Anyway, thanks for watching. You have a good day.